Intercontinental Championship. Well, this guy looks eager to add some gold around his waist. Let's see if he can do it. Would you look at the look on the face of the challenger? Talk about focused. You can feel the intensity level inside the arena rising. I fully expect this Intercontinental Championship match to be among the most exciting we've seen in a long, long time. Introducing the challenger from Long Island, New York, weighed in at 214 pounds, Zack Ryder. And his opponent from Montreal, Quebec, Canada, weighed in at 205 pounds, he is the Intercontinental Champion, Sammy Zayn. So much anticipation, and it all comes down to this. A former United States all right, and this Intercontinental Championship match is underway. Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is your third match of the evening, but I want to go ahead and uh, clear something up that I should have done uh, when we started off the Wrestlemania, but however, it's just going to be, um, we're going to go ahead and cover it right now. Now if you've uh, been on WWE.com and you have read some of the news articles that you would already know the information that I'm about to say. Uh, for those who don't and they are unaware of what is uh, has occurred during the last week or so. I'm going to go ahead and inform right now. So, what happened earlier this week on Raw and SmackDown, Dean Ambrose took some brutal punishment from both from both uh, Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns. A, a chair attack from Seth Rollins and a sneak attack from which Dean Ambrose was supposed to be taking on Roman Reigns on SmackDown. And due to those two incidences, Dean Ambrose has suffered an injury... And based off of what he said in a statement, he said that he is he has suffered an injury. However, due to his disadvantage, he will still compete here tonight at WrestleMania for the main event with the WWE World Heavyweight Championship on the line. Now, me personally, I want to go ahead and I want to say I'm sorry. My condolences go out to Dean Ambrose. But at the same time, I do respect the hell out of him for making the decision that he made. Um... Him defending his WWE World Heavyweight Championship here tonight is absolutely uh, incredible. I never thought I would see or hear today that Dean Ambrose would do this. I mean, talk about a lunatic. This dude is the definition, the ultimate definition of crazy, in my opinion. But that's for later on here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Right now, we let's look at the task at hand. We got Sami Zayn taking on Zack Ryder for the Intercontinental Championship 
right here, right now. And I gotta say that I am. I, I love both of these superstars. They are, they are absolutely amazing. They have impressed me through their careers. Um, Zack Ryder. I mean, what is there not to tell and love about Zack Ryder? He's a former internet champion, even though that wasn't an official championship here in WWE. Um, he's won the tag team championships, however, and that's actually an official one. He's won the United States Championship here in WWE. And look out, Zack Ryder looking to put this match away, but he doesn't even get one. And uh, due to an injury, basically caused Zack Ryder to lose the United States Championship at the time. And look at this. Look at the bridge by Sami Zayn. What a re good reversal, but doesn't even get one. And, you know, I've always loved to see Zack Ryder in the ring. And when, uh, when he got injured and he lost his championship to Jack Swagger due to his injury, it made me upset as a fan. And he never won the championship back. He never got a rematch for it, which was it was a little bit upsetting. But it is what it is. We've got to look at the task at hand here. Zack Ryder gets an Intercontinental Championship match here tonight at WrestleMania. And I think that's the most important thing that we got to look at right here right now. And now we look at a guy like uh, Sami Zayn. You know, Sami Zayn, he's, uh, I've watched him since uh, his time in NXT. And might I say that, hold on, Zack Ryder, high-risk district maneuver, two, and only gets that. And when I've seen Sami Zayn compete in uh, NXT, I've seen him go up against some of the best top prospects in NXT. And I've seen him beat him, and I've seen him lose some. And I've seen him go against uh, WWE superstars who went to NXT to take on some of the top prospects to see how they're progressing. And he held his own against some of the very best. I remember the time when Sami Zayn came up and accepted John Cena's United States uh, Championship Open Challenge. He lost, but he still kept, he held his own against John Cena. A guy like John Cena. And, and he was able to keep up with him and, and damn near won, a, won that match. A couple of times during the contest, and Zack Ryder going up top, uh, high risk district, 450 splash! That could do it! Referee goes for the count, one, two, and there's, oh no! Sami Zayn kicks out of the 450 splash from Zack Ryder. Oh my god! I rarely see Zack Ryder go for a maneuver like that, and for him to not put away Sami Zayn with that very maneuver is absolutely incredible. From Zam Sami Zayn's uh, behalf, of course. And then not only that, but I've actually seen when uh, uh, NXT TakeOver, when Sami Zayn won his very first NXT Championship. I also saw that's the night when uh, Kevin Owens turned his back on his very best friend. And there goes Sami Zayn going out the ring. Now, earlier here, uh, here tonight, uh, Sami Zayn's former best pal buddy, uh, Kevin Owens, was successful in defending his United States Championship against Randy Orton. And Zack Ryder going for the pin attempt. That could put him away right here. One, two. That's all she wrote. No, only two and a half. And for me to see Sami Zayn come onto the main roster, win the Intercontinental Championship at WrestleMania a year ago here today was just amazing. It was absolutely amazing. The way that uh, he won it was just incredible. And Zack Ryder looking to take care of business here tonight, you know. Uh, like I said, I've, I've loved seeing these two superstars compete in their careers. And I wouldn't mind seeing these two uh, team up here and there, you know, probably compete for some championship gold here in WWE and win tag team championships. Oh, Zack Ryder went for the missile drop kick. However, he missed. And look at this. Oh, and what a suplex from Sami Zayn. What would that call? A, a, an, an underarm hooked a suplex. And look at this. Blue Thunder Bomb. That could do it right now. One. Oh, no. That should have been two. That should have been at least two. And Zack Ryder... Oh, man. Zack Ryder is showing the true heart of a champion. But Sami Zayn is the Intercontinental Champion for a reason. And that's because he's went up against the very best here in the WWE. He's kicked out a very finisher. Look at this. Co Kohina Clutch. Kohina Clutch. That could do it. Zack Ryder could tap out right now. Zack Ryder could tap out right now at this very moment. Zack Ryder, is he going to tap? He's close. He's very, very close from giving up. And, oh, I think Sami Zayn just let him go. And look at this. Sami Zayn staying on top. That's why he's the Intercontinental Champion. Oh, and Zack Ryder able to get his arm underneath the bottom rope. Oh, my goodness. And Sami Zayn is showing some... <laughs> He's showing some fight. He 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 has the heart of a champion. Sam, they're they're fighting for the Intercontinental Championship, ladies and gentlemen. 
You know how many people have held that Intercontinental Championship? Do you? We're talking about Randy Orton's. We're talking about Triple H. We're talking about The Rocks. We're talking about uh, Chris Jericho's. We're talking about uh, Rey Mysterio's, Kurt Angle's, uh, uh, Bret Hart's, Ultimate Warriors. And look at this, Zack Ryder. Look at the put Sami Zayn away. Oh, wait a minute. What is he doing? He's not going for the pin attempt. Zack Ryder might have something else in mind. He might have something else. And he does. Look at this. He's calling for it. He's calling for the Rough Rider. If he hits this, this match is over. And there it is, Rough Rider. That could do it right here and right now. Man, oh, man. The Intercontinental Championship is meaning a lot here to both men tonight. One, two, it's over. Rough Rider. But no, it didn't. Sami Zayn. The resiliency of Sami Zayn. Able to kick out of the Rough Rider. Oh, my God. Zack Ryder is, I don't know what Zack Ryder's thinking. He's probably thinking about how to put Sami Zayn away. He needs to stay on top of him. He needs to make sure that every move that's coming out of his arsenal is going to be a move that he can stay on top of Zack Ryder, keep him down long enough to figure out what his next game plan is. Man, oh, man. That's why Sami Zayn's the Intercontinental Champion. He broke out of the, the, uh, the 450 Splash and the Rough Rider. Oh my god. And he almost made Zack Ryder tap out in the center of the ring. And he almost pinned he almost successfully defended the championship after the Kohina clutch was locked in and made Zack Ryder pass out. Oh my god. This is this is what you call an intercontinental championship match, ladies and gentlemen. These two are among are among the very best. Sami Zayn's holding the championship, like I said, numerous Hall of Famers. Numerous legends, numerous future Hall of Famers, numerous living, active WWE legends in the WWE competing here to today. Oh my God! And that's what the what that's what the championship means to him. Uh, Zack Ryder's, uh, you know, he watched uh, Razor Ramon win the Intercontinental Championship. He held Razor Ramon's Intercontinental Championship when Razor Ramon won it. Man, oh man, that's what the Intercontinental Championship mean has a special meaning, especially to Zack Ryder. It has a special meaning, e e exceptionally as well, to Sami Zayn. He beat Kevin Owens for crying out loud. He beat Kevin Owens at WrestleMania to get the job done. And look at this, Zack Ryder calling for the Broski boot. Woo, woo, woo! There he goes. That could put him away right now. Zack Ryder should better be, better be going for that pin attempt because if he gives uh, Sami Zayn enough breathing room, Sami Zayn can get back in his matchup and win it. What's Zack Ryder going for? He went high district. Oh, I guess not. Uh-oh, he's calling for another one. He's going for a second Rough Rider. If he gets this, this match is over. He's got him up and down he goes. Rough Rider. Rough Rider. That's the very same maneuver he won his first United States Championship with. And he nailed it a second time. That could do it. That could put him away. Two. Is he going to do it? Yes, he does. Zack Ryder, ladies and gentlemen. Your new Intercontinental Champion. My, oh, my. Look at this. Early on in the contest, Zack Ryder hits Sami Zayn with a body slam. And he decided to go high risk district. And look at this. Look at this right here. He waits for it and gets the body splash immediately a pinning. And look how close he came from ending this match earlier on. He got only two, but still, he was pretty down close. And that maneuver right there, the inverted uh, armed suplex, followed by this. Zack Ryder's version of the 450 splash nailed him. And look how close it was right here from putting that match away. Look at that. Look at that. Watch how close it is right there. That was like a 99s and a 100s. And right here was when Sami Zayn was almost able to make Zack Ryder tap out in the center of the ring to retain his Intercontinental Championship. And look at this. Oh, man. And immediately after that, Sami Zayn went for the pin like so. And look at this. But Zack Ryder's arm was underneath the bottom rope, and I think that's what saved him. And that second Zach, uh, Rough Ryder was able to... To get Zack Ryder his very first Intercontinental Championship victory. And man, oh man. 
Zack Ryder gains the Intercontinental Championship in convincing fashion. I can't wait to see what kind of a champion Zack Ryder is in this coming week or so. Ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned because coming up next we have the Divas Championship match underway. It's going to be the champion, the Divas champion, Naomi, going up against Natalia. Coming up next, stay tuned.